He is a former general who seized power in a coup in 2008. The next year, Mohammed Ould Abdul Aziz ran for president and won. Now he's running for another five years term in office. His message to voters this time around, Mauritania is a better place today than it was before. Not everyone shares his view. A coalition of opposition parties and civil society organizations called the National Forum for Democracy and Unity is boycotting the vote. These parties are part of the independent commission which oversees the election and they're boycotting the polls. I guess they're doing it because they don't want to see a transparent process. Despite the boycott of the National Forum for Democracy and Unity, candidate Wild Abdul Aziz is not running against himself. Four more candidates are challenging him. One of them is this man. Ibrahim Mukhtar Sar is a former journalist who's become a human rights activist. This is the third time I've participated in such an election. In this country, the polls can't be free or fair because we're still living in a tribal and racist society, and I'm running to remind Mauritanians of this. The first divide in Mauritania is between Arabs and Africans. But there is a second one. It's the divide among Arabs, between white Moors and black former slaves. When casting their votes, many Mauritanians still do it along the lines of these divides. And that's expected to win Mohammed Wild Abdul Aziz his second term. When I'm Lamrani Al Jazeera, Nwakshot, Mauritania.